Alrighty, hello there everybody, welcome back to God of War, this is episode 20. Uh, we're getting really close to the end of the game. And, uh, yeah, I'm pretty pumped up about it. Although I don't want this game to end, but... Every good game has to end eventually, right? So let's go. We are now going to be going to Jotunheim, the realm of the giants. And yeah. So let's go. I hope if we hope you guys are enjoying this um series. I know I am. Hi Rock and Sendry, how you doing? What the hell? Is it loading? I guess so. Okay, that was really weird. I don't know what we'll find when we get to Jotunheim, but we must cover our tracks. Odin's ravens will tell him of the tower's restoration, and we mustn't let our efforts be to his benefit. Very well. The God of War symbol, right there. Jotunheim. Asgard. Savaltoheim. Helheim. Alfheim. Jotunheim. This is it. Here we go. Hold on, wait a minute. This isn't going to work. What? There's no travel crystal. Kier must have used his own eyes to refract the energy. It was his final failsafe. You've got eyes like him, Mimir. I've got an eye. One! Odin plucked out my other eye precisely to keep me from traveling. Sorry, lads. Thought that would work. What did Odin do with your other eye? He'd have kept it. Any of a hundred places, I'm afraid. We've come so far. There has to be a way. Look. Bit of a long shot. For years I've seen Sindri, sometimes Brock, lurking around in that mountain when Odin came for his visits. Maybe they know something. Brock and Sindri! Talk to Brock and Sindri, okay? Okay then. Hey, let me get in the camera frame here. Hey guys, question for you. Anyone know where we can find Mimir's other eye? Oh. <laughs> That's... <laughs> I'm sorry. As a matter of fact, Odin asked me to... <laughs> he wanted me to build a... <laughs> he showed it to me, you see, and I... <laughs> the coin... Sorry, will you... Excuse me? Who? Well, that was useless. You know, it was about that same time that Odin came around looking for me to build a statue with some sort of hidden compartment. Now, that not being a weapon and the Aesir being a bunch of box-speckled talkers, I too saw fit to decline. But I know we got it built just the same. What was the statue? It's that one of Thor out there flashing his sack to the oh. lake. The statue that the serpent ate. Sorry about that. Feeling much better. How are we supposed to look inside the snake? Inside? Oh no! We better go see what the world serpent has to say about that. Well, lads, I don't know what lies ahead. Now would be a good time to make sure your gear is ready for the worst. Anything you need to do, I'd do it now. Just some sage advice. Well, I have the best armor I think I could get. <laughs> like, just to prove it to you guys, I am on give me a challenge. As you can see there. I am on give me a challenge. 
and you can see my stats and stuff there on the right you can't really see the bar but you can see the numbers and you can see there my weapons are fully upgraded so is Atreus got all the skills opponents have the best armor for me anyway and yeah I've, I'm pretty sure I'm ready to fucking fight anything that has to come at me once more to the horn once more to the horn let me save it let me save it here just because just in case something happens Okay, sorry, I was just getting me a drink ready. Open to letting you go into his mouth to look inside. Ew. Really? By the by, he's not wild about it either. So we get to go inside the world serpent? So are we really doing this? Letting the serpent swallow us? You do not have to come. Well, I'm not gonna miss this. You do not have to come. Well, I'm not gonna miss it. <laughs> what do you mean? All right, man. I I don't. Follow me. I guess if you have a nauseous stomach, I guess I don't know. Don't watch. Are you sure, this is a good idea. No. No. You sure this is a good idea? No. Well, we're going to do it anyway. I've been to many strange places, but this will be a new one. <laughs> yeah, I've never been in the giant's belly either. How about you, father? Never one that was not trying to eat me. You really should expect that sort of response at this point. Now I can't see a damn thing. Find Mimir's eye. Funny. I used to dream about getting eaten. Dreams are nothing. I'm not afraid. It just reminded me of a way I used to feel when I was a child. Let's find that statue. Now, you, you know, there's probably some loot in here you could get. Maybe. That's the exit, I'm pretty sure. I'm pretty sure I was just going the wrong damn way. Okay then. Smells not as bad as I thought it'd be. But like heather ale fermenting. Rather pleasant, actually. You're so weird. <sighs> the water kind of burns in here. That is water, isn't it? Aye. 
There, the hammer. It's funny, there's like perfect, uh, that there's a perfect dock waiting for me to use it. There's something over there. Okay then. Okay. Mamir, any idea where Odin hid your eye? No, it's not like I can still see through it. An eye. Maybe you should stick that in my head for safekeeping. Gently now, gently. Thank you, brother. You don't miss depth until it's gone. Why was it in a chest? I wouldn't say I'm feeling whole again, but it's a right improvement. The Bifrost is intact. It'll serve. Then we have all we need. Finally, we're going to Yudna. There's no stopping us now. Laddie, have you ever heard the term tempting fate? Fate is another lie told, told by, the, by gods. the gods. Yes, of course. You really are your father's son, you know. <laughs> is that a good thing or a bad thing? I don't know. Hold on, what's going on? Well, that was mildly terrifying. Maybe our presence is upsetting Jormungandr's belly. No, something is wrong. What's happening to him? Nothing good. Glad that's over. Is he getting hit? What is that? We must hurry. Couldn't agree more, brother. Be one hell of a place to hide, wouldn't it? Hold tight and watch your balance. The board shifting. I'm gonna.
use this. Where's Mamiya? Something we did? No. Something else. A dead giant. Why would the serpent leave us here? Look! Odin's Raven. Oh no. Freya. We can still trust her. Right? Until we know for certain. Keep her distance. The world serpent. What's happened here? We hoped you would know. You are far from home. I'm looking for my son. The two of you. You helped me see things more clearly. You do not know where he is then? No. But the woods and fields speak his name. I know he walks here in Midgard. When did you see him last? Long ago. Before you were even born. Why are you standing so far from me? What's wrong? Something's happened. There! I had a feeling that hurting the big snake would bring the two of you out in the open. Do you have any idea, any idea at all, what you have cost me? My boy. Mother. I'm here. Don't run away. Oh, I'm not going anywhere, Mother. I know that you're still angry. I know that how you feel hasn't changed, but I, I want you to... How, how I feel? How I feel. <laughs> I've spent the last 100 years dreaming of this moment. I've rehearsed everything I ever wanted to say to you, every word, to make you understand exactly what you stole from me. But now, <laughs> I realize. I don't need you to understand anything. I don't need you at all. No, back off, Kratos. This has nothing to do. This path you walk. Vengeance. You will find no peace. I know. You... I'll deal with you later. But family first. This again? Yeah, bitch. Come on, bitch. I can reach it. You have to stop fighting. Bitch. Bitch, come here, whore. Turn away, boy. This won't be pretty. I won't let you hurt him. No, boy. Fine. Stop! No! No! Atreus! You're bleeding. Breathe, boy. Breathe! 
Not my blood. <clears throat> What is this? <laughs> I can feel this. <sighs> oh, I can feel everything. <laughs> Vulnerable now? Oh, no! Who was that? Strap, yes. Mistletoe harmed him. Freya said it was wicked. He's more than harmed. The spell is broken. He can be killed. I'm certain of it. It's all coming back now. Now he remembers. She's controlling that thing? Stay out of it! No, woman! You cannot! He means to kill you! You can't stop me! No one can! Where is he? I don't care if he kills me! I will protect him! I will not let him die! Now touch it! This will all be over soon! I'm gonna go blade the chaos in your ass. My boy, I only wanted to protect you. More, more, Shona. Ah, I feel, I feel.
bitch. Come on, bitch. God damn it, get off of me. Man, these fucking things are annoying. Get off of me! Damn, Atreus! Look at him! Before you die, I want to thank you. Both of you, you've done what 
what even the All Father himself could not. I've never felt more alive. Ironic, oh, isn't it? Cause I'm a god of war, bitch. Bitch, 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 bitch. Hold on, my battery died. Okay, we're good now. My battery died. Interfe 
fearing in my life. I was just trying to protect you. I was. I've made mistakes, I know. But you're free now. You have what you want. Try to find forgiveness. We can build something new. No. No. I, we can. Because I will never forgive. You still need to pay for the lifetime that you stole from me. I have paid. I have paid. But if that alone will make you whole, if seeing me dead will make things right, I won't stop. In no. What? No, father. <laughs> I love you. <laughs> <laughs> Why do you even care? You, you could have walked away. The cycle ends here. Must be better than this. <laughs> imaginable upon you. I will parade your cold body from every corner of every realm and feed your soul to the vilest filth in hell. That is my promise. He saved your life. He robbed me of everything. <laughs> everything. Just an animal. Passing on your cruelty and rage, you will never change. And you do not know me. I know enough. Does he? Boy. Listen close. I am from a land called Sparta. I made a deal with the god that cost me my soul. I killed many who were deserving. And many who were not. I killed my father. That was your father in hell. Is this what it is to be a god? Is this what it always ends? Sons killing their mothers? Their fathers? No. We will be the gods we choose to be. Not those who have been. Who I was is not who you be. We must be better.
Well, guess we are the bad guys now. In her eyes, yes. But she could never make that choice. Hmm. We should finish this journey while I still have strength. While you still have strength, Kratos, you have literally all the strength in the world, you nigga. What you mean? I know saving her was the right thing. But she seemed all evil at the end. Not evil. You killed her son, lad. Her son. The death of a child is not something a parent gets over easily. But he was gonna kill her. She would have died to see him live. Only a parent can understand. So you'd let me kill you? If it meant you would live. Yes. Look, there was no easy choice. For anybody, brother. But I think we can all agree you did the right thing. The world's a better place with Freya in it. Just... give her time, lads. She'll come around. Back to Tyr's temple, then. One last time. Aye. Jotunheim awaits. Why did Baldur say we crossed him? Odin must have convinced him that following you to Jotunheim would bring his cure. Lies, I'm sure. Why did Mistletoe break the spell? Vanir magic is powerful, but its rules are slippery and elusive. I'm sure it makes sense if you're a witch. Oh, but it's also bloody tragic. Baldur was the greatest gift Odin granted, Freya. The one thing she treasured from their marriage. We only hope to spare him pain and spare herself loss. Such impulses can lead good parents to make terribly stupid decisions. Okay, so... You never told me what happened with the stonemason's son. Rimthur, son of Thandor. After completing his father's masterwork, the Great Wall of Jotunheim, he thought of nothing but making the Aesir pay for their crimes against the giants. Once, he longed to fight Thor, but tragedy had brought wisdom to Rimthur and cunning. He observed that Asgard's walls were half-built and shoddy, for no Aesir god could be bothered with such tiresome labor. So Rimthur adopted the guise of an ordinary man and made the Aesir an offer. He would build them majestic new walls, and if he couldn't build them within two turns of the season, they would owe him nothing for his labors. And if he succeeded, he asked only for an audience with the goddess Freya. Odin agreed, knowing the task was impossible, but intrigued by the stranger. Rimthur made short work of it, of course. He had the benefit of his father's training and the aid of a magical stallion for fetching stones. Odin was not happy to find himself on the losing end of the wager, but he seemed to uphold his end of the bargain. Rhea was sent to meet the mason, and to her surprise, he wanted only to whisper something in her ear. That being done, he made his way out of Asgard. And when he found Thor awaiting him at the gates of Midgard, he knew he had been double-crossed. But he didn't care, because his plan was complete. It was? What did he say to Freya? Only she could say for certain, but I've had many moons to work it out. Harinthur knew that Freya loathed the Aesir, despite her marriage to Odin, and I believe he gave her the secret to Asgard's defenses. Some weakness he may have built in, structural or magical, which I expect will be exploited come Ragnarok when Surtur arrives to burn Asgard to ash, if not sooner. So we are getting towards the end of the game. Um, we're like right there at the end. We've killed Boulder. Why does it always do that? It always does that. Like when I walk up to the thing. Plan. <clears throat> Go ahead and lock in Jotunheim and we'll be on our way. Probably. Muspelheim.
Niflheim, Asgard, Savaltoheim, Helheim, Alfheim, Jotunheim. Boy, ahead. Get ready. Oh, right. Got it. Let's hope this doesn't cause you to explode or anything. Oh, haven't considered that. Maybe we should talk about this a bit more. Nah, I'm sure you'll be fine. Ready? Oh, that's unpleasant! Now, boy! Jotnerheim. A word, please, before we continue. Listen, the last thing you two need up there is a decomposing heat ruin in the moment. Why don't I wait for you here? This is between you and the boy. True. But if someone were to fight... My lady sips soft, perfect sloshers. You done did it. Sorry. We had to see this. Oh no. No, 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 no. Fine, damn it. Fine. Watch the head till we return. I can do this. No, no, I can't. Oh. Okay. Ready. Find Jotunheim's highest peak. Nope, I'm completing this video. This is fucking the last video, damn it. Peek ahead. Right over there. We did it. We did. What are you doing? I have nothing more to hide. Can we go now? We're so close. And just like that, his gauntlets are back on. Like nothing happened. <laughs> Pretty funny though. Boy. It's nothing. I just thought I'd hear voices by now. Hello? <laughs> 
Anybody here? Boy. What is this place? They must have all come through here when they left Midgar. What was left of them. Why carve all these faces? What if this is all the giants that got out of Midgard a lot? Not really many at all. Odin and Thor ruining everything for everybody. Huh, who's the guardian? Okay. I should feel them, but I don't. This place is dead. What happened to them? Why'd Mom send us here? One question is answered, and two more take its place. Wait! Father! Something's happening! arguing with a bunch of giants. She knew giants? That's us. The first time we met the world serpent. But how? And our fight was Baldur. But that just happened. Wait. They knew everything that was going to happen. The dragon in the mountain. The stone mason. All these drawings. This is our story. No. This is your story. But... What does it all mean? That I was not the only parent with secrets. didn't know. She was a giant. I'm a giant. Part God, Why part giant. She sent us here knowing we would find this. Why not just tell us the truth? Her mother would have had good reasons. Baldur was never sent to find me. He was tracking her all along, not knowing she was only ashes. If she had a plan for us, I trust it. Whatever it is. Besides, she hasn't been wrong yet. Come on. We're so close to the end now. Yes. Yes, we are. Scatter her ashes. Look. It's Mother's. She was here. She saw every step we took before we took it. Like she was always with us. Watching over us. Leading us home. Let's finish it. Damn right we gonna finish it. Look at the view, man. Let's just take a minute and look at all the giants. That one there, he dead. He dead. Look at all the giants. You can see the gate over there. 
the giants there. Look at them all. Look at all the giants. It's a fucking shit ton. There's nothing for us here. Come. So, I get that mother was a giant, which makes me part giant and part god. And part mortal. Right. I guess there's just one thing I don't understand. My name on the wall. Giants called me... Loki? Loki? That's the name your mother wanted for you when you were born. She must have called you that to her people. But why? A question for another day. Let us go home. this here? Is this what she wanted us to see? Did she want us to tell the people, or keep it a secret? I do not know. So what should we do? I trust you to decide that. Oh. So, why'd you want to name me Atreus? I know it can't be for a god. <laughs> no. He was a soldier. A Spartan. A great warrior? All Spartans are great warriors. We train from birth. Our lives were discipline, duty, battle, and death. Life was grim, and we greeted it grimly. Hmm. But Atreus of Sparta was unlike the rest of us. He wore a smile even in the worst of times. He was happy. He inspired us to hope that though we were machines of war, yet there was humanity in us goodness. When the day came for him to lay down his life in battle, his sacrifice saved countless others and turned the tide in our favor. I carried him home on his shield and buried him with all the honors of Spartan custom. His memory was a comfort in dark times. Wow, you actually told a good story. And we missed it.
understand if you want to go home, but maybe helping people is part of why mom sent us out here, too. I mean, what would Atreus of Sparta do? And what would Loki do? Huh. That's a weird name. I'm glad we went with yours. Am I glad to see you? I believe I've reached my limit for dwarven charm. What happened, Lemire? They took an uncomfortable number of measurements and then proceeded to bicker about the weather. Where do you want us to take you? How about the warm confines of anywhere bloody else? Before we return to Midgard, I should warn you. More time has passed than you want to realize. The snowfall that began when you slew Baldur, it's become something else. The stuff of omens. Omens? For the coming of winter? Not just any winter, but a great winter to span three summers. And when it's done, Ragnarok. Ragnarok. From snow. Aye, snow. Lots more snow. And then the end of the bloody world. In that approximate order. Another prophecy. No, brother. Prophecy doesn't expect this. Oh. Winters, at least. You choose. Prophecy didn't count on you. So, guys, since I was muted because I'm retarded, as I was saying, I have completed everything. I have killed the Valkyrie Queen. I did all the dwarf side quests. I did all the Muspelheim trials. I got the everything in this Bullheim. Um, and you could just like kind of see here, like the stuff I did. I pretty much did like all the favors. All I really need to do now is just do all the treasure maps, get out of the artifacts, and explore the rest of the land, or explore the rest of Lake of Nine. I explore the rest of the stuff I haven't gotten, then I really get the platinum of the game. That's literally it. I'm telling you, it's Fimble Wind. I can feel it in my scroat. This is the big one. Stop saying that. Oh, you're making me very nervous. It was bound to snow sooner or later. That ain't just snow, and you know it. It's the end times. How dare you make me the voice of these guys? Just discussing the weather. Bit of a old snap lately. What he means is, Fimble Winter's upon us, boys. The winner to end all winners. I can feel it in my screw. E yeah, we we heard. So if you're heading home, try to keep moving and also to not die. Or if you're not heading home, same advice. Let's go home. Wait, wait, hold on. Hold on. Let me save it first. Let me save it first. Let's so save it first. Then. Here we go. Let's 
go back home, boys. No, nope, it's this one. Home. That's why I saved it right there. In case something happens. Oh man, the tower ate the Unity Stone, didn't it? I wanted to fly again. Yes, that's a terrible pity. Brothers, <laughs> there's another thing I must let you know. From the time you were away in Jotunheim. Well, tell us then. It concerns Freya. She paid me a visit. What did you tell her? What little I know about where Odin may have kept her Valkyrie wings. Seems she's rather bent on reclaiming her warrior spirit. I'm afraid the cycle of vengeance may not be so easily broken. So what, she wants to be a Valkyrie again so she can try and kick her ass? HA! I laugh! That's a funny joke. That's a really funny one. We killed the Valkyrie Queen, so... We're finally home! Feels like a lifetime ago. Bit drafty, maybe. It's a right improvement over having tree bark in your Tadger. Time to rest. I'm gonna sleep through winter. Okay, this'll do. Wait, I still have my blades of chaos on my back. Sleep. <laughs> Way ahead of you. That's the end, guys. That's the end. Of God of War. I might be doing the third game. I'm not sure yet. Um, and... Can I skip this? Oh. Present day. Atreus, are you ready? Yeah, but... I had the weirdest dream. Fimble winter was ending, and Thor came for us, here at the house. It was only a dream. But it felt different. It felt real. It felt like... the future. Then we will worry about it tomorrow. Today, there are still things we can do. Come. Alright, everyone. That is the actual end of the game. We saw Thor there. Maybe there'll be DLC for this. So we can go to the other realms that we do not have access to right now. Other than that, this is me and boy. And I'll see you all later. Goodbye.